2010, during our first look at the revised Lexus GX460, we liked the big size looks UV to a woolly mammoth. Surely, we pronounced, the wave of lighter, unibody crossovers with independent suspensions and more car-like driving characteristics, like the brand's own RX and NX, soon would relegate traditional truck-based body-on-frame SUVs such as the GX to a rarely traveled corner of a dusty museum. Well, snap. Last year, the GX460 was the Lexus brand's third best-selling SUV, even though the Lexus lineup had only four SUVs. In calendar year 2015, it gathered more buyers than the Audi Q7, Volvo XC90, Infiniti QX80, Land Rover LR4, and Range Rover Sport, and it nearly kept pace with the Mercedes-Benz GL. However, the Acura MDX, BMW X5, and the combined Mercedes-Benz M-Class GLE all outsold the Lexus by a ratio of more than 2 to 1. It has certainly outlasted just about all of its midsize, truck-based peers. Add in booming sales of other examples of the larger breed, Escalades, Navigators, and such, and the expected demise of the traditional body-on-frame SUV has been slower than anticipated. Blame Cheap Gasoline Under the Lexus Glitz, the GX is most closely related to the Toyota 4Runner, ladder frame, live rear axle, and all, but with a V8 standard third row, four-wheel drive.